your vantage point to us through what you how it played out just from your, your perspective? I mean, I knew the ball was going to him. And when he caught it, I I don't know, man. I have nothing to say. I just that was crazy, man. Joel is Joel is Joel. What was the play? Tobias had a screen? What was it? Yeah, I think Tobias had a screen. You know, when we got in the locker room, Tobias said, Joel, that was a great shot, but that screen that I set. <laughs> <laughs> that was big time screen, big time execution, big time play call by uh, Coach Doc and uh big time shot by the MVP. What were you thinking at halftime after the way you guys played and you were downtown? We good. We good. We turned the ball over like 12, 13 times. Um, I was turning it over a couple times. Big fella, Jan we was all turning the ball over. Um, but we knew that they were going to come out and play extremely hard. They had to. Um, you know, and we had. Everybody kept saying the same thing: weather the storm, weather the storm. Uh, if we get it to single digits, we good. If we take the lead, we're going to win the game. And uh, it took us all game to take the lead, but when we when we, when we got it. Well, we didn't keep it, but we, we won, so it don't matter. Uh, you, mentioned, you mentioned the big foul, and obviously you had the shot at the end, but you had 18 in the third quarter if you guys were down, really dragging it back in the game. What, what is it like to kind of be on the court with him when he just decides he's going to take over like that? Yeah, I mean, I think everybody asked him the same thing. What are you waiting for? Um, you know, I think he had like five points in the first half. I'm like, Joel, we need you. And he, he said, all right, I got you. And uh, that's what he does, man. He's just MVP for a reason, man. It's, I'm just going to keep saying that he just – he dominated the game, uh, dominated the defensive boards, <sighs> block shot. I mean, he just, he was big. How did you guys sort of when just James hang in there? How did you guys sort of just hang in there in overtime when James has fouled out, you know, kind of trading misses before Joel's big shot? Just yeah. take, us, take us through that. Yeah, I think everybody on the court was exhausted. I think everybody had gave all they had, and, you know, they were just fighting to the end. And, uh, you know, Thank the Lord that we played without James for however many games that were, what, 60 games before he got here uh, because everybody knew what to do. We knew what to run. Uh, we knew where everybody needed to be. And uh, guys hit big shots. Joe hit big shots. I think Danny hit a big shot. Tobias was huge defensively. He was amazing. Again, that's three games in a row. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, I mean, that was, that was a big time win. What, what's kind of the mindset when you're all 3-0? Now you're going, to, you're going into a game, you're going against a Raptors, and fighting for their lives. So, like, how do you kind of keep the pedal to the middle of the situation? We know it's going to be a dogfight coming in here Saturday afternoon. We know it. Um, again, they're going to go and run. It's their building. It's going to get loud. Fans are going to be into it. And uh, I think we just got to weather the storm, keep weathering the storm, take care of the ball, defend, guard our yard, and uh, to do whatever it takes to win the game. How do you sort of avoid the turnovers and the mistakes and the sloppiness that maybe hurt you guys early on in this one? Yeah, it happens. It happens, you know. Games like this, I know I, my first turnover, I slipped and fell, and they took the ball. Uh, Joel slipped a couple times. Like, you know, it just happens. But uh, the way we weathered that storm and we, we got good shots when we needed to, we took care of the ball when we needed to, and we got stops when we needed to, um, that's when it's all about resiliency. And, um, you know, it's not, they're, not, they're not all pretty. All these games not pretty. All, the only thing that matters is uh, when there's all zeros on the clock, you know, we have more points than them. So. I'm sorry. With that being said, they're all not pretty. But right now, <coughs> I know you talked about what you got to do, but just talk about being a 3-0 and and having a chance to close out. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, that game was amazing, but it's over. It's in our rearview mirror. And now it's time to uh, get our rest, uh, probably have a practice or something, and uh, – Look forward to Saturday and uh, try to close out this series. Uh, like I said, they're going to come out and they're going to be ultra aggressive. Uh, they're going to play desperate. They're going to play hard. Uh, they're going to go on runs. As long as we weather that storm and uh, stay together, it will be okay. The last time y'all came here, you know, you guys lost that game. At, at that point, you know, you still had a couple more games left. But did you guys figure out that you possibly would have to come back here and come here and get, like, a big win? Yeah, we knew it. Uh, we didn't know for sure, but, uh, you know, the way it was looking that we were going to come back here. And uh, going into the game, we knew that as well, and uh, they popped us in the mouth. Uh, and uh, they came out there and uh, offensive boarded and, and uh, they did everything they wanted and owned their own space. And uh, we talked about it from, from that day on. Uh, the couple of days we had practice, the games that we played, uh, Indiana and, and uh, Detroit, we talked about defensive rebounding, owning our own space, and uh, not letting them punk us. Y'all called Tobias the unsung hero tonight. Yes. What did you think about what he did? Yeah, I mean, he defended. He defended again, and um, he just 
he's been big, man. He's, he's Coach Doc keeps saying he sacrificed the most, and uh, I believe it. And uh, he he just he doesn't care about anything but winning right now. And uh, for him to do that, that's it's special. Uh, he was big too. He got some buckets. Um, he set a huge screen for Joel for Joel to hit the the, the game winner. And um, like I just, like I said when I first got in here, uh, he's excited about that screen that he set. And uh, he as he.